Hi guys, my name is Ding Shoot. Welcome to my first Let's Play on Banjo Kazooie for Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, first came out on the Nintendo 64 back in about 98 or so. Uh, I was in like sixth grade or middle school uh, or something like that. So when it first came out, uh, I actually didn't get it until a, 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 I think it was a couple months after it came out. Cause I got it for like my birthday or something. Uh, but I didn't, I couldn't get games uh, very often at that time unless it was for a special occasion like my birthday or Valentine's Day or Christmas or something like that uh, so obviously I didn't have a job so I couldn't buy them myself and you know my parents weren't I mean they let me play video games I grew up playing on the original Nintendo uh, and stuff like that but they never saw any point in spending a lot of time on it and spending you know especially back when Nintendo 64 cartridges were sometimes 70, 75, 80 freaking dollars, you know, on spend all that money on that, but anyways, this is one of my favorite games, you know, I could not wait, I ran it from Blockbuster, like, I don't know how many times, five, six times before I finally got it, uh, for my birthday, the year it had come out, and I played it several times over, beat it, and just, just a phenomenal game, you know, I miss Rare, kind of sucks that they've gone to, uh, on to working for Xbox and you know they're doing you know they didn't have too many actually didn't really have any good games uh, Perfect Dark Zero it sucked um, but I kind of like it but you know it as uh, commercial commercial wise it was a failure failure so all right well I just played this uh, it'll be pretty much a blind run uh, I played it for like an hour just to kind of get used to it again because I hadn't played it for a while but uh, here we go. Let's go to game two. Such a fun game. I mean, you know, the guys at Rare had... It, it feels like they just had a lot of fun creating this game. And, you know, when when I played it and other people play it, you know, you can just tell how much fun they had with the design and the characters. And, you know, obviously the story is really goofy, but... Who cares? It's fun. Look at that. Just picking her nose out of nowhere. It's just so random. <laughs> and the sound effects. Uh, I've... I heard some people who talk about the uh, the character sounds, the way they you know, they sound really annoying, the way they do, especially Gruntilda with her, you know. Um, but I find it so amusing. Um, I was actually at work a while ago. I think it might have been a year, year or two ago. Um, you know, when I was a server, and I'd be in the I was back in the back, uh, on in the kitchen, and was like pouring coffee or making a drink, or something like that. And you know, all of a sudden, I just out of nowhere just start start mimicking, you know, Gratilda's silly voiceover or silly like, you know, voice noises. And someone, one of my coworkers, just comes up and is like, "I love that game." And we spent like, you know the rest of that shift just t going back and forth about how fun the game is. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to get going just for the sake of time. Uh, basically, Gruntilda wants to be sexy and thin and looking good, so he kidnaps Banjo's sister. We're on Spiral Mountain. Good old bottles of the mole here. Unfortunately, there's no way that I can uh, speed up the text in the option, so I kind of have to just hold A down so it goes really fast. So the like the character voice is like, oh, 
they sound a little different when I do that. Uh, I'm gonna decline training, but I'm gonna go around and show you just for the sake of, you know, like I said, some time. All right, all those basic moves. All right, the control on the Xbox 360 is you know very similar to the N64, minus the fact that you know. The C buttons used for the camera is now used with the right joystick. Here you gotta do a backflip to get up there. Bam! It's that first honeycomb piece. You collect six of these, you get a new, uh, a full honeycomb uh, added to your overall life. Which this game is pretty easy, so honestly, I rarely, used, I rarely had to use it. Whoop! Let's not do that. I guess I don't have to try it yet. <clears throat> Come up here to get this next one. Try to use the the double jump. Oh, we're gonna get the statue. Eee. See, even like random items like that have you know little little funny voice excerpts. And there's one on a tree somewhere around here. There we go. Nope. Climbing a tree. I'm climbing a tree. And then we come down here. <clears throat> and we swim to get the one down here. Um. Underwater controls are still pretty wacky, but they're a lot easier than in Super Mario 64. Which, uh, I watch a commentator named Jay Witz, and... He favors those controls in Super Mario 64, but I mean, honestly, I'm with the majority of people uh, who play that game. I just can't stand it. Can't stand it at all. So here we do the beat breaker. Break all the borders here. La la la. Good old Kazooie with her hard head. Yeah, I said her. You know, in case you didn't know, Kazooie. Beeve is supposed to be a girl, but... Whoops, missed. Oh, this again. Come on. There it is. Alright, now to find the one that's in the tree. I can't really get a good angle over here. Unfortunately, you run really, really slow. I could have sworn it was over here somewhere. Oh, come on, where are you? I know it is around here. I actually love the music in this game. As if the ga entire game itself didn't have an overall happy, cheerful tone. The music is just so freaking upbeat and fun. I'd be hard pressed to find something that's more giddy than this. Thanks, bottles. Okay. I know I did not find it. Yes, there is one more. The sixth one. Aha! There it is. Um. You know, with that double jump, you can kind of feather yourself down. What sucked about Super Mario 64 is once you were in the air, you didn't really have an extra a little extra give in case you missed. So, I'm glad, you know, when this came out, you know, Rare thought about that and allowed you to have an extra, you know, when you jump, a little bit extra, and you can kind of 
you fall down kind of slow, so that's really nice. So, <clears throat> this is Spiral Mountain. This is Banjo's home, Tootie's home. Let's go into Gruntilda's lair and go into the first level, which is Mumbo's Mountain. Very simple, but fun. Well, I see. She's. <laughs> I always used to think of a freak, freaking girls having an orgasm when I was young. My cousin and I would be playing this, and every time she would talk, we'd be like, ah, ah, ooh, ah, mmm, ah. Just messing around. It's really funny. Come on, Banjo, no! Save me! I don't want to be fat and ugly and missing teeth. Put this first jiggy here. Bam! Beep, 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 or like not paintings, but like jigsaw pictures that you have to complete, and then you can enter that world. Add it in. And now we've unlocked Mumbo's Mountain. The obviously the easiest level in the game. Simple level design, but you know, especially you know back in '99 or '98, you know that was fun. It obviously felt a lot larger than it did now. Considering I've had I'm 26 now, so I've had over at least 14, 15 years. <laughs> Collecting uh, notes. There's 100 notes in each level, uh, so I'm going to go for 100% so I'll be collecting all of them. They're pretty easy in this level. Love the sound effect they make when they when you grab them. Uh, come on. I never said the control the controls are perfect, but still at least you have a, a more accurate, like slower swim option available. Hello Boon Jinjo. Joe. Run away! Boom. Okay, let's get this guy. Pretty simple. Whoop. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. Come around here. Boom. You know, as if their voices didn't sound funny enough, when you uh, hold down A to speed up the text, it kind of makes them go faster, so it actually makes them count, sound squeakier. Go. I think we need a different, a uh, another certain move to get up that way. So let's go. Over here. Why can't I get out? Of here? There we go. Freaking how limited the camera was back in these days is just ridiculous. It blows my mind how I could stand that at the time. Get this easy jigsaw. 
Now, while the game is pretty easy, it's not necessarily that easy. So let's learn our first move here. Good old bottles the mole. Talon Trot. Love this. I will be using this throughout most of the game because it's just faster. So much faster than running around with Banjo. Whoop. Wrong button. There we go. Whee! Oop, missed. Help! Yo! Whee! Momo token over here. <clears throat> you can transform in this game, so that'll be. This is the currency you use for it. Uh, put these notes here. Squawk, 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 Oh, 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 all right, there we go. Oh, shit. Let's not do that. There we go. B, B, B. All right. Eh, might as well collect some eggs. We'll be using them soon. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's do the next move. Oh, the banter between Kazooie and Bottles. Miss it so much. This is the, uh... Crap, I didn't read the text, but I believe this is the Beak Buster. Similar to the Ground Pound from Mario. And you know, if I, if you, it just seems like, I, like I'm referring to Mario a lot. And it's because, I mean, it is obviously a near direct clone of it. But it was just so much fun. I liked, you know, I almost I still do like this more than I did Super Mario 64. It was goofier. And a little diff you know, different in the fact that there we go. Alright. Next. Uh, we haven't learned how to do those yet. So let's go over here and get these. Uh... Oops. The Mumbo token. Jinjo. Uh, I do a backflip up to get that. There we go. And bam! There's five Jinjos in a level, so if you. As soon as you get all five, then. You actually get a Jiggy for it. And. It, you know. Some people don't like collecting 100% before they go and finish the final boss. Uh, but this game, they actually have. An incentive to collecting all the Jinjos. Uh, one of the in-game weapons that you can use is just freaking awesome, and the name alone is just hilarious. So, all right, let's get these notes over here. Maybe. All right, let's see here. What am I missing? Oh. Alright, let's go over here with the monkey. See what he wants. What's an orange? Ooh, I got an orange. Sorry, Kanga. Run away! There we go. Even the orange has a funny sound. Boom, 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 boom. The hot? The hot? Alright. Get some eggs here and learn our, I believe it's our last move. 
that, that, and bam. Open up the levels have a, a Gruntilda switch in them, and you can it'll unlock a Jiggy outside of the level uh, that you have to get somewhere. Oh, wrong button. There we go. All right. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of. Uh, I couldn't remember the rest of it. Beetle breath. Shoot them out from behind. Shoot them out your ass. Just fit to practice with. Nothing more I can teach you in this world. All right. All right. Let's get up here and shoot. Oh. Ah, uh, missed. Oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah. Uh. This isn't hard, but it's frustrating. Especially because the angle with this controller is... Oh, shoot. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. There we go. Alright. Poor Konga. Giving up his jiggy. First he can't hit me with the oranges, then I steal his orange, and then I shoot eggs at him. He's not having a very good day right now. Alright. Let's go up here. Hop, heap, hop, 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 two, three, four. Alright. Go up here and do this. Oh, come on. Boom. I used to be able to do this all with, without missing one egg. But obviously that was back in the day before I could. But I had plenty of time to practice. Not so much nowadays. I could have sworn there's a mumbo token back there. Maybe not. Whoops. That's tricky. Maybe. There we go. Ba dump ba dump boom. Gulp. Ah hill. Gulp. Ah hill. Alright. Four. Where the heck is the other one? Alright. Well. I don't remember where it's at, so we're gonna find it. Get up here. Is there one up here? It's just all eggs. Alright, well, let's try this again. Sorry this video's gonna go kinda long. <clears throat> kinda suck. I didn't want to just, just show the Spiral Mountain, because it, you know, it's not really a level, it's more just like, it's just the training course, and, you know, it takes a little longer get through when you actually uh, go through the tutorial, but that's just showing you guys to grab the honeycomb pieces. You know, it wasn't as long, but... Alright, now where is this piece? I do not remember. Uh, so I apologize. We'll find it. Let's see here. Ha! <laughs> oh yeah! Look at that. It's just so fun. <laughs> Pooping out the back, just pooping out the back. Where is this freaking mumbo token? Ah! If 
very impressed how uh, crisp the graphics look on the Xbox Live Arcade version. You know, there's still, obviously, it's an older game and still some rough patches, but you know, it looks looks really nice on the X on, on the Xbox. A lot better than Nintendo. Oh, oh, oh that's right. It's like right here. Oh, never mind. That is just the honeycomb piece. Let's try this again. I know it is around here somewhere. On that first file that I had, I actually found it right away. Uh, I didn't have to stop and go search for the fifth one, so I'm not sure why I can't find it now. Oh wait, I think I remember now. It's in the termite. Yep. I always did that when I was playing when I played the Nintendo 64 version too. Every time I played through it, I would forget about this right here. That's as, that's as high. Oh, sorry about that. I hit my mic. That's as high as you can go until you can transform into uh, Mumbo's transformation. Well, let's go here and check it out. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna transform you to? His shaman magic. Press X. Oop. And voila! We're on a little tier mate. Oh man, it's really hot in my room right now. Alright, let's see here. Boom, ba da dum. Bam. Oh! Was kind of wacky. Oh, excuse me. Don't pick on me just because I'm smaller than you. And voila! I am a termite and I climb and I have sticky legs. And I stole it from your butt. those round and round you go where we end up nobody knows oh well the hole in the wall yeah, just for the hell of it just because there's no telling what I might do on accident and screw up and voila there's the tense jiggy now instead of uh, going back and transforming uh, the banjo I'm gonna go ahead and go out to the hub world. Which, if you haven't noticed by now, the hub world is actually Gruntula's lair, which is pretty cool. Kinda like how the castle was to uh, Super Mario 64. So, go up here, and you know that switch we hit? And there's a Jiggy. Voila! It's the second Jiggy in uh, Gruntula's lair. So, fortunately, once you get past a certain point, Mumbo, almost magic starts to get weak, go a little farther, and then bam, transform back. So once again, my name is Dang Shoot, and my real name is Cory. So thanks for watching my Let's Play and uh, Part 1, and uh, look out for uh, uh, the rest of the series. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.